drugstore, makeup, essentials, starter kit, whatever the heck you want to call this video. Oh, oh, oh. Drugstore, makeup kit, essentials. God, I'm such a weirdo. Oh my god. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you all of my essential products that I would include in a drugstore makeup starter kit. The products that I think are essential if you are just starting out with makeup. And of course, everything is going to be from the drugstore because that is the most accessible makeup to get from the drugstore. Cheapest, and I just love drugstore makeup. It's amazing. And this video is actually going to be a collab video with my friend Courtney, or Courtney VB here on YouTube. And I was so excited when she approached me to do a collab with her because I have just been loving her videos recently. She has such a cute personality. She is a gorgeous girl. She does amazing videos, makeup tutorials, hauls, tags, everything you would want to see from a beauty guru here on YouTube. So I will make sure to link Courtney's channel in the description box below and you all should go check her out and make sure you subscribe to her because I just know you guys will love her channel because she's amazing. So she will actually be doing a video showing all of her essentials that she would include in a drugstore makeup kit. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump in with what my essentials are for if you're starting out with makeup. Alright, the first thing I'm going to talk about is foundation. And one of my favorite foundations from the drugstore is definitely this CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation. It's supposed to have a foundation, primer, and concealer all built into one. I love this foundation. It gives amazing coverage. I would say it's more of a medium coverage. You can build it up to a full. It has amazing lasting power. It's just a really great foundation all the way around. This is in the color ivory, so this is for when I am uber white, so I'll be whipping this out again because fall's coming and I'm going to lose my tan very, very quickly. So this is about, I want to say $12 or $13 at the drugstore, which in my opinion is pretty expensive for drugstore makeup. So another cheaper um, foundation that you could try is the Wet n Wild Coverall Cream Foundation. This is the foundation I have pretty much been wearing all summer. I love it. I have it on right now. This is only about 4 bucks at the drugstore, so it's a great steal, and I think it gives a really good amount of coverage. It has pretty good lasting power, but I would say that the CoverGirl Outlast has a lot better staying power than the Wet n Wild one does, but still, this is a great foundation, especially for the price of $4. Okay, then moving on to concealers. My holy grail concealer from the drugstore is definitely my Concealer RX from Physicians Formula. This stuff is hands down the best concealer I have ever tried in my life. This stuff covers up everything you could possibly want it to cover up. Um, this is a little bit more on the expensive side. I've seen it anywhere from like six to ten dollars at the drugstore. I got mine, I think I got this for like seven maybe, but it's totally worth the price. It is amazing. Trust me, you will love this concealer if you try it. And then for under eye concealer, what I've been loving is the Garnier Skin Renew Anti-Puff Eye Roller. This thing is amazing. I have really bad dark, or dark under eye circles, puffiness, I have really bad allergies, so this thing is a godsend to me. It um, has the little roller ball that has the color that deposits out onto your eye, and the little roller ball is really cooling to help reduce puffiness, and it has caffeine and green tea extract and all that fun crap in it to help get rid of puffy under eyes. So this is perfect for covering up those dark under eye circles. Love this. Then for powder, I would suggest using the Wet n Wild Coverall uh, powder. This stuff is really amazing for such a cheap powder. This is only like three bucks at the drugstore and it really helps keep my makeup in place. So I'm really loving this. And another powder that I really love is the Rimmel Stay Matte. I want to say it's called the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, but I don't have one to show right now because I used all mine up, but I love it. It is a great powder, so those are two of my favorite powders. All right, next for bronzer, I have two bronzers to show you guys, and the first one is the NYC Smooth Skin Sunny Bronzer. You hear everybody talk about this on YouTube because it is such an amazing bronzer. It's completely matte, which is what I personally love in my bronzers. I don't like any shimmer because I like to use them to contour. This is a great contouring bronzer all over warming up your face. It is amazing. I love this bronzer. And it's only like two or three bucks at the drugstore, so you definitely can't beat it. And another bronzer that I absolutely love is the Rimmel Natural Bronzer in the color Light. I'm already hitting pan on this, which is very sad because I'm going to have to go pick up another one, but this is just such an amazing bronzer. Um, you can use this to contour if you're a lot lighter skin tone, but I tend to use it just to warm up my complexion before I go into contour to blend out my contour a little bit, but it is a great bronzer, especially if you have a lighter skin tone, so this is my go-to bronzer in the fall and winter time. Then for blushes, some of my absolute favorite blushes from the drugstore are the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blushes. These blushes are seriously some of the most amazing blushes I have ever tried in my life. They are crazy pigmented. 
They last so long. I have literally used this blush like every single day for the past few months and it doesn't even look like I've made a dent in it yet, which is crazy. So this is my favorite color. This is the pearlescent pink, but I also really love the heather silk. Amazing colors. All of these are amazing. All right, moving on to eyeshadow. I know, I feel like I'm talking about so many Wet n Wild products, which is ridiculous, but I really like Wet n Wild products. They're amazing products, so you can't beat them. And I'm not sponsored by Wet n Wild. No, no. I wish I was. That'd be awesome. But anyway, some of my favorite, hands down, best eyeshadows you can find at the drugstore are these Wet n Wild Color Icon Quads. They are absolutely amazing. I rave about these all the time. One of my hands down favorite palettes I've ever bought is the Comfort Zone palette with all the neutral shades and the green shades in it. It's just such an amazing palette, especially for everyday wear with all the neutral colors. So it's perfect if you're starting out as a beginner with eyeshadow. And these um, palettes are also amazing because all of the eyeshadows on them are labeled as to where you put them, like brow bone, eyelid, crease, definer. So if you have no idea what you're doing, it says right here exactly where to put the colors. And then it has a little picture on the back if you're not sure like where your crease is or where your brow bone is. If you have no idea where all those things are, which I don't know why you would, but... You know, in case you don't, there's a picture on the back to tell you. So it's amazing. So I love all these, and these bigger ones I want to say are like $4.99 at the drugstore, and then the littler ones are from $2 to $3 at the drugstore. They're amazing, perfect for a beginner with eyeshadows. They're amazing. Then for mascara, it was really hard for me to pick a favorite mascara to include in the drugstore makeup starter kit, but I mean, the one I have been using like crazy, I've been obsessed with, it's the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. This mascara is amazing. I, like, oh, I wish I would have tried this sooner. I, I mean, I've heard so much hype about it for the past few years, but I was like, oh, it can't be that good. It really is that good. This stuff does not clump, and I load up the mascara, and this never clumps on me. I love it. And I want to say this is about $7 or $8 at the drugstore, so perfect for a starter kit. It is an amazing mascara. Then for eyeliner, if you are just starting out with makeup and you want to try using liquid eyeliner, the best thing for you to try is a felt tip pen. And this one is the Jordana Fabuliner. This is seriously the best little eyeliner pen I have ever used in my life. It has just the perfect felt tip point on it, so pointy. This thing lasts forever. I have had this this one for the longest time and it's still black as can be, works perfect, isn't drying out at all. I love this. If you are just beginning with liquid eyeliner and you're trying to figure out how to do a cat eye, this is definitely the eyeliner you want to try. Any kind of felt tip pen, but this is hands down my favorite from the drugstore and it's only about $2.99. I get all my Jordana products at Walgreens. That's the only place I've ever seen them. But this is definitely the easiest one if you are starting out with liquid, liquid eyeliner. Then the eyeliner that I like to use in the waterline and tight lining is my e.l.f. Mineral Eyeliner. I really like this stuff. I think it works amazing. And uh, it's only about $3. You can get e.l.f. products on the e.l.f. website, Eyesless eyeslipsface.com or you can get them at Target so you can't go wrong with e.l.f. They are amazing. Okay and last but not least is lips. There are so many amazing products for your lips at the drugstore. I, it was so hard for me to pick which ones to include in the starter kit but I would have to say for starting out my favorites from the drugstore are definitely the Revlon Lip Butters. These are just absolutely amazing products. I have on the color Strawberry Shortcake right now on my lips. This is one of my all-time favorites, just a really light baby pink color. But these are great because they're not like a full-on lipstick. If you aren't, if you're just getting into makeup and you aren't ready to like rock a full-on hot pink lip or red lips, something along those lines, these are great because they'll just give you a little flush of color, but they're so creamy. They condition your lips like a lip balm. They give you a little bit of color like a lipstick, and they also give you the sheen of a lip gloss. So I think these are basically everything in one. They are amazing. I want to say these are like six to eight dollars at the drugstore, depending on where you go, but but the Revlon Lip Butters are definitely a great essential to have in any makeup starter kit. They are amazing. Alright guys, so those were all of my makeup essentials for a drugstore makeup starter kit. I really hope this helped you out, especially if you are just starting out with makeup and you are just completely lost on where to begin, because the drugstore can be a really scary place if you have no idea what the heck you're looking for. Also make sure to head on over to Courtney's channel and check out her video for her drugstore makeup starter kit. Again, her link to her channel and the video will be in the description box below. And if you go check out her channel, make sure to tell her that I sent you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!